today could be one of those fucking days that... Uh, <laughs> I wish I had a fucking cold beer. Today could be one of them fucking days. You know, I try so goddamn hard. You know, I try so goddamn hard to, you know, make the best of everything. I try so goddamn hard. You know, I try so goddamn hard. So right now, I've been having a shitty life, so I'm going to eat some fucking shit out of a fucking can. You know? Like, I try so goddamn hard in life to, you know, make the best of everything. But, uh, so, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna heat it up or nothing. Looks pretty good though. Hmm. Actually, that's pretty good. Actually, this is probably making me feel better. Yeah, this is why I need it. This and that. It's Progresso, Rich and Hardy, Steak and Homestyle Noodles. Okay. Well, can't be, life can't be that bad. I feel better. Today's one of them fucking days, man. Y'all remember I made that video? Uh, I'm acting like I'm gonna steal my truck, right? Start up in the driveway with. Okay. So, I'm going out empty on the car. So I figured I'd drive the truck. The last three days of work, the last two days of work, whatever, you know? And then, uh, <laughs> trucks went on empty too. Anyways, so I figured, well, I'll, I'll start her up, you know, and get her lubricated and that, you know, so tomorrow morning be no problems. <laughs> I go to start the fucking truck, and it didn't want to start. Like, what the fuck, man? It's like, every fucking time I try to get ahead of life, I try to get ahead in life. Like, okay, I'm going to work now in my condition, right? You know, just so I can make some money to get caught up back in life. You know, get back on my feet again. This fucking truck, man. I swear to God. This fucking truck. This fucking truck. I swear to God. That motherfucker had balls. <sighs> I went to the old pet shop to get crickets for my fucking frogs. Alright? And, uh, that's another story. We're not even going into that fucking shit. But I go to the old pet shop. It's not even open no more. It's for lease or whatever. Rent or whatever. I don't... I go to get some fucking crickets, right? And I come back out, and there's this guy standing by my truck, you know, he's eyeballing it. He goes, hey, aren't you the guy, this used to be my truck, right? I, you, you're that guy, yeah. He goes, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm the one that sold you this truck. I go, oh my, fuck. he says, well, how's it been running? Boy, I tell ya. One month after I bought this truck from you, yeah, the housing boat stripped out. Yeah, and then I I, I got it reconditioned or whatever, fifteen hundred bucks, and then uh, later on the the, the, the blue blue head gasket. And then after that, uh, 
the, the, the bearings went, and then and then I had a, I had to buy a new motor, and then you know, and then the tranny blew out, and and then uh, you know the the radiator, you know, is like the starter, and, you know, is like. I, I stuck so much of my eggs as well. I gotta go. I, I, I am so sorry. You know, it's like the truck was fine when I saw it to you. Uh, you know, it was like, I'm sorry. Goodbye. You know, and he left. He, because I was, I guess I was just getting madder and madder and madder because I was telling him everything that was wrong. I said, uh, three goddamn fucking motors for the fucking driver's window. That motor for the window, electric window, 350 bucks. Every fucking time. So that's a thousand dollars just for the fucking window deal. You know, one time I was driving in the fucking rain or whatever, and it was really fucking cold, and the fucker just fell, dropped right down. Came right off the thing or whatever, you know. <laughs> I'd take the panel out and push it back up and wouldn't stay up, so I had to put a board underneath it to keep it up, you know, jack it up, whatever, and ram a board underneath it to hold it up, you know, and... <laughs> that fucking truck. I hate that fucking truck! The only... Oh, God, I can't even eat now. Uh, the only reason why I, you know, I stuck, God, oh my fucking God, I stuck at least $42,000 in this fucking truck. It just eats fucking tires up, but I can eat funny. They said, you know, when they jacked it up in the air the first time, whatever, they said all four tires fell in. They they had to replace all the fucking ball joints or whatever. Tire rods, all that shit. I had a whole goddamn truck rebuilt. I wish to God I never bought that fucking truck. I wanted the fucking Chevy white truck. That's what I wanted. I had $3,000 in my fucking pocket one month before I had to go to jail for them goddamn pot plants. I had $21,000 in my fucking hand. I go pay off my fucking bills. Uh, I had $3,000 in my fucking pocket. I hate that fucking truck. I, s I spent most of the fucking time in that fucking truck sitting in a fucking ditch. Goes in a ditch and don't fucking come out. So I got them big monster tires on there figuring, okay, next time uh, I'll dig my way out. Yeah. Well, I haven't been in a ditch since, you know. Ah. That truck, 1987, that's the year my dad got killed. So, okay, two things that make me keep that fucking piece of shit. Not nah, getting this big fucking hole, the driver's side, floor, floor even a fucking match falling through all. Bill Warren, he gave, he gave up on this fucking business. He... he he never even finished the fucking back brakes. He was going to fix the hole in the floor. He was going to fix the fucking back brakes for me. He was going to fix the exhaust. Now he's fucking out of the fucking business. Yeah, the, the tailpipes fell off the fucking truck. The tailpipes fell off. And now I guess it's the fucking donut up in front. The donut. You know? I didn't look. I didn't crawl underneath there to look. But today, god damn it, of all fucking days. You know? Of all fucking days, I go out there to start and wouldn't fucking stay running. It wouldn't run. I had to floor it all away and it's going, 
Pedro, no, 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 no. Floored. I just can't believe it. A couple days ago, last week or whatever, I drove it around the block and parked it. Ran fine. Today, of all fucking days when I really need it, I right, go start up, lubricate it, whatever, move it around, whatever, make sure it's fine. Good thing. Oh my fucking God. I would have been fucking pissed. Go to start up tomorrow morning and I don't even want to fucking stay running. What it was, you know, I pop up the fucking high, I just I said fuck it, and I took my foot off the gas and it fucking died, you know. And it just, all this exhaust smoke, you know. I was like, I hope I didn't fuck up the engine. God damn it, man. That'd be my luck. Because it was smoking. <laughs> just forcing it to run. Pop up the fucking hood, and I see, I can smell gas. So I'm looking down by the fuel pump, by the fuel filter. Well, gas is spraying up on the fucking manifold. Huh, that's nice, right? Start the fucker on fire, right? <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. That's why I didn't want to run. Well, what it was, those little rubber hoses they put on the filter to the gas line had a crack in it. It had a little split in it. You know? So I take the fucker off. I stab myself in the fucking hand with my screwdriver. I, I hate getting hurt. See it? Stab myself in the hand with the screwdriver. Get this fucking knife away from me. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow. This is going to be called the bitch video. Me bitching. I'm pissed off, okay? This is me pissed off. So anyways, I fixed the fucking... I, I cut the fucking hose, the rubber hose, you know, it's so long. I, I cut it down to the bad spot, put the fucker back on, you know? Starts up, you know? But I had to give her gas, you know? So it's, I don't flood it out or whatever, and it's still smoking in that, you know? And got her fucking running in that. And then I try warming her up, whatever. And then I take my foot off the gas, and it starts struggling. Don't want to stay running. Hope it didn't buck up the engine. God, I hope it didn't buck up. So I go pop up your head, and then it starts struggling a little faster, a little faster, and then it smooths out. Okay, it smooths out. That's weird. But then, uh, so don't want to stay running. I think it's because of the donut. You know, the donut. <laughs> Not the donut is, right? For the manifold. The exhaust. Well, it's not getting enough compression. Like, I probably should drive it. Was running like shit and it's fucking loud. See, this is this is why I'm pissed off. I try so fucking hard in life to get somewhere. It's like it, I'm cursed. You know? That truck knows I'm getting fucking money. I ain't that fucking goddamn much. Then I hear there's snow coming. There's snow coming. It's gonna get cold out. Really fucking cold out. And I don't want to drive the car in the snow. Got bald tires. <laughs> well, I remember telling my sister, if you can't make life a challenge, it ain't worth living. Boy, I tell ya. Well, I fucking tell ya, <laughs> I really make life a fucking challenge, eh? I really make life a fucking challenge. And then, and then my hands are completely fucking black, you know, from fixing this fucking 
shit, you know. The fucking truck to get it running. So I go and get this Kojo in my trunk of my car. You know, clean it all up and that. And I realized I don't have one fucking rag in my fucking trunk to wipe my hands off. I get this kojo all over my hands. This black fucking shit all over my hands. All wet and sticky. And not a fucking rag. Not one fucking rag. That fucking did it right there. That fucking did it right there. I, 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 I can't take this shit no more. I just can't take this shit anymore. Please, people, help me. Subscribe. This is why I'm doing my YouTube channel. So I can't. Oh, God. One day, I will love to watch this shit and laugh at my ass off because I know one day I will rise from all this shit. Like my boss Howard said, Carl, I don't see you getting payments right right away, but later on, maybe in the future, yeah. I can see you getting famous and making some money. But he said that a couple of years ago. I guess I've been doing YouTube for six years now, I guess. I thought it was four years, but maybe that was two years ago. I don't know. I don't know how that works. 2012, I saw the video. 2012, doing karaoke at the other house. 2012. So let's see, 16 is when Slay got killed. 16, they were there for five years. Okay. Oh. So they moved in 2011. Yeah, 16, take away five. 2011. Well, they were there longer than six years, five years? Because when I went back to work, Vern was working there. Oh, wait. Yeah, when I was in fab department, Vern was working there, yeah. He was a welder. And then he quit. He got that truck. Man, that's when the shit went down. So. Wow. Wait a minute. So, if they were there, they moved in 2011. It's 2018. Oh, Vern's been in jail for fucking two years. Oh, that's a different story. Oh my God. Oh my God. Vern's been sitting in jail going on two years. That's where the two years went. Oh my god, so th this is going to be my second winter here. So th does that make it one year? Well, I guess, well, I moved here July. Yeah, I remember watching the fireworks. Oh my god. So, yeah, I got evicted. When did I get evicted? Oh 
Was it July? Jesus Christ, what a fucked up life I had to live. When I was living there, the dog constantly fucking barked and barked and barked and barked and barked and barked. They left that dog alone. Barked and barked. I didn't get no sleep. She's crying. She she barked herself to sleep, crying. That poor fucking dog. Sometimes like three days. I caught up in I complained. I think she could care less. As long as she got her fucking rent, that's what, that's what everybody said. Money talks, bullshit walks. As long as she got her money, she can care less what was going on downstairs. Well, she was worried about me being my rent on time. She was living off of our rent. Oh my fucking God. That's why she never fixed nothing. Please, people, subscribe. Tell somebody. Help me help you. You subscribe to me, I subscribe back. It's a win-win situation. I tell you Next time I do a live stream, I'm going to call it sub for sub. Sub for sub. No. Help me help you. Mm -hmm. I would love to get up to a thousand subscribers and then I do super chat. Still start selling my merch. I guess anything here can be merch. Anything. Anything. Even his hat. <laughs> Hell, one guy says, I could make bread and sell it. <laughs> make bread and sell it. I don't know how that works. Super chat. I got a lot of shit to show. I don't need just t-shirts, do I? Like the them uh, tree stump things that would sell that. High is better. Let's see how that goes, huh? Especially that one with the red, the red head witch riding that dragon. Yeah, that should go for big money. That super chat. And then that's all legit. Yeah. People, please help me. Give me a thousand subscribers. All I need is, I got 826. All I need is uh, 100 and 74. 174 subscribers, that's all I need. Come on, people. 
Help me help you. Let's do a super chat. Yeah. Help me help you. And then I get back to modernization. Yeah. Help me. Help me help you. There you go. I'm feeling better now. Okay? I forgot all about that. I won't. I won't. Oh God, I'm going to cry. I won't rise from all this. Like I said, when I come back and watch these videos, I'm going to laugh my ass off. Like, God, I can't believe it. I can't believe I had to live like that. Like, look how serious I was. I'm eating a can of fucking... I'm eating canned food that's not even warmed up or nothing. Because I'm so upset. And you know what? I'm liking that. I'm going to like it. I can't see Mike Nelson doing this. Duh! I'm not going to fucking eat out of a fucking can. Duh, you fucking warm it up first. And this shit, I won't fucking eat. My mind used to make me eat this shit. I can see Mike Nelson refusing to eat this. I don't eat out of a fucking can. Duh, you just like my fucking dad. Like I said, with Mike Nelson, if it don't say McDonald's, M for Mike, that's what he said. Does she just M? Yeah, M for Mike. Yeah. He will eat spaghetti. He will eat spaghetti. And steaks. It has to be porterhouse steaks. He will eat beer can chicken. He will eat homemade pizza. Well, he said I am a good cook. Well, that's reverse adults academy. He's just building up my eager to, you know, think, oh, you like my cooking? Well, well, next time I cook up a good dinner, I'll invite you over. That would be right up his fucking alley. Yeah, it would. That'd be right up his fucking alley. Yeah. See? He is smart. He'll tell you anything to get his way. He would tell you anything. And he won't. He will tell you anything. And most likely it's fucking gonna be a lie. Yeah, he'll tell you. Yeah, uh, you help him out. That he'll promise you hooters and, and never do it. Or real lobster. Yeah. You want payday? You won't see hide or hair of them. Gone. I feel better now. You guys are like my counselor. I feel better. Uh, uh, YouTube Carl Kiss subscribe. I believe in you. Uh, I believe in y'all. I I love y'all. Y'all give me a reason to keep going forward. Okay? Only you can make a difference. Tell me. Subscribe. 1,000 subscribers. Yes!